Great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Darnold, and this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's more. Seven yards to pick up there. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. To the air again, Darnold. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Miles Garrett, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to do keep them in the game or win the game all game long. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw, and that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second and ten, Darnold. And that is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. 
Darnold completes it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for Hank. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. He's at the 40. 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that was pretty much sealed the deal for off the pick six it's Darnold he'll get this underneath to McCaffrey and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. one thing I think that's safe to say defensively the tackling's been really good and because of that it's been very very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch they're tackling them almost on the spot that means they have to run extra plays harder to move it and incomplete on the deep ball so the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at about the 14. 21 yards, well done on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.